everybody. Welcome back to Teach Me to Science. My name is Saren and today we're going to be talking about buffers. If you haven't already watched my video on PKA and PKB, I would highly recommend watching that before you watch this video. Alright, so today I'm going to be defining a buffer, talking about PKAs and buffers, talk about how to make a buffer, and give an example. Buffers may not seem like a very big deal, but they're a very important concept to understand. In fact, your entire body depends on a buffered system. A buffer is a solution which contains a conjugate acid or conjugate-based pair. The primary purpose of a buffer is to resist changes in pH. A great example of a buffered system is blood. The human body relies on a buffer to keep the pH of blood within a certain range. This is because changes in the pH of our blood can be very dangerous. Now let's talk about pKa's and buffers. Buffers have what is called buffering capacity. This is essentially how well a buffer works at a specific pH. A buffer works best at a pH which is very close to its pKa. Now let's talk about how you would go about making a buffer. Here I've got the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation above, which is what you use to make a buffer. First you have to choose an acid-base conjugate pair that has a pKa very similar to the pH. Usually you'll be given the desired pH of your buffer system. After picking your conjugate acid-base pair, you'll want to plug in the pH and pKa to your Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Then you can solve for your ratio of conjugate base to weak acid. These numbers will then tell you how much of your conjugate acid base pairs to add into your solution in the lab. All right, now let's do a practice problem. Pause the video and give it a try. We're told we want to make a buffer with a pH of five. We have the following acids at our disposal. We need to pick an acid and write the conjugate acid base pair. Remember that you want to pick an acid that has a pKa very close within one pH range of your desired pH. For this reason, I picked acetic acid which has a pKa of 4.75. The conjugate base of acetic acid is the acetate ion. That's all I have for this video on buffers. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye!